All right. If you happen to have an exercise ball, it's excellent um, for you to use it for tummy time activities. It provides a little better support for the chest than for the body. You can bounce it up and down. Bouncing helps soothe the baby. You can also do some rocking back and forth or side to side. Remember how we needed to tilt the body to one side or another to get some strength in the side of the trunk and the neck? The ball is a perfect place where you can do that. There we go. Good job. Of course, no matter what you're using, babies are going to get tired. Are you tired? Are you tired? You can put some toys in the front to provide distraction. So that's a very good tummy time alternative. That's it. All right, you can stop for us or whatever, because I need to set up again. <gasps> Good job, buddy. Let's fix the socks. Very nice. <gasps> if you have an exercise ball at home, um, you can use it to do some activities that will help your baby sit a little better in preparation for independent sitting. The bouncing is very helpful and um, also it provides for the baby to kind of start sitting up when you're bouncing them and they like it it's very soothing if you move the ball side to side that's going to help strengthen the, the side of the trunk and neck muscles you can even do little circles and that is going to help with sitting balance. I like the ball because it keeps the babies happy and quiet and that is what I want. And so if you have an exercise ball, I think it's a very good um, equipment to use in the activities that we do, we do with your baby. You can also choose to purchase one online at Amazon and have it as part of the baby toys that you have. Good job. That's it. Very nice. Very good. Good job.